right, so here's the former UFC strawweight queen, Thug Rose Namajunas. She's a very interesting individual, DC, because as much as she is a lifelong martial artist and loves to train, there's something about fight night and all of the accompanying emotions that she really doesn't care for. Yeah, she doesn't love it all that much, but she loves the preparation for getting in the octagon, and once she arrives there, she usually will give her best self. She's a fantastic striker, showed that in the second Namajunas fight, but don't forget about all the submissions that she had from her time on the Ultimate Fighter, her time in Invicta, all the way to becoming the striker that we saw knock out Jan Jacek to win the UFC title. When she is at her best, as she was in that first round against Jessica oh. Andrade, most people believe that she is still the best straw weight in the world. She will try to prove it again here tonight. Another big spot for Thug Rose Namajunas. Well, she developed a pretty good fan base on the jiu-jitsu circuit, and she's had some UFC success, largely due to her grappling. We'll see how she proceeds here tonight. Yeah, she's a tremendous grappler. I love watching her because I love watching how calm she is when the fight hits the floor. She never seems to panic. You can always see her processing move one to move two to move three, whether it's getting back to her feet or trying to pull you further into those engagements. She does it at a extremely high level, and she's very fun to watch. Some have compared her to Mackenzie Dern, perhaps a little bit of a stretch, but there is no denying all of the skills and all of the layers to her jiu-jitsu game. We'll see if she can get it going tonight. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> your referee, he's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, we are underway. Here is Doug Rose Namajunas with the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. And she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying. Oh, she's got a triangle, DC. That looks tight. Might be a case of, of tap or nap right here. It is going to be a case of tap or nap. You're going to sleep if you do not tap. Oh, she got out champ. I was wrong against John B. It looked like she was done. She was going to tap, but nope. She was able to stay safe, get off to her side, get her arm free, and find safety. Great job. And you were right in her obit. Right in her obituary. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is gonna continue deep into the night. What is she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's gonna be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady.
Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Fog Rose Namajunas! Thug Rose Namajunas, your winner tonight, still proving that on any given night, she's the best strawweight in the world. She's one of the best fighters in the world, and anytime she goes to the octagon,